Hi, I'm Sahiti. So today I want to speak about uh, how we can handle the dynamic weights in Cypress automation. So, uh, so it's same as other tools like Selenium and other tools. We we also have a weight command in Cypress. We can mention it as cy dot weight. So uh, this this we can mention in, in different formats. Like for example, cy dot weight. We can mention a specified weight time where uh, it will be in numericals of uh, milliseconds. And also we can mention it is in as aliases. So these aliases may be like uh, we can uh, store this particular element uh, before and later we can mention in this format. So coming to the Cypress timeout. So Cypress has usually the default timeouts where we can mention uh, the request timeouts and the response timeouts as per our flexibility. So calling the cy.wait commands, it will it will take the request timeout and response timeouts which we mentioned previously in the environment variables such that it will be waiting for the element. And also we can also mention as cy.wait mentioning the particular number of uh, numbers in, in milliseconds so that it will override the request timeout and the response timeouts which we are giving environment in the environment variables. And uh, so it will wait until this uh, 0.5 milliseconds. Uh, and later, if the element is not found, then it will show, uh, it will throw the timeout error in the Cypress uh, test ring. So, so as I said, Cypress can also wait for the particular element. So uh, we, can, we can target a particular element using the CSS selector and the Cypress will wait until that particular element is found. And else if, if it's found, then it will uh, resolve the uh, comments which you give, or else it will just throw the timeout error. So let's say like uh, there is a, a login page where the login button appears after 10 seconds after the page is launched. So in that case, we are asking Cypress to get the login button. So this is the CSS selector of this login button. So I'm asking Cypress to get this login button within the timeout of 10 seconds. So here I'm mentioning the hard-coded 10 seconds value where Cypress has uh, the limit to check within this 10 seconds. If the element is found, then is visible, then it will be clicking the element or else it will be throwing the, simply throwing the timeout error that this uh, particular CSS selector is not present. In, the, in our case, it's login button. So, Usually this will won't work in many cases because this is a hard hardcore time out. And uh, this way, this may vary a bit. Uh, the factors may be like uh, the server lo load time and the uh, maybe the internet or there are many issues, uh, many uh, scenarios which are linked to the time modes or the load, load times usually. So to handle this, what we can do is we can uh, mention the dynamic weights in Cypress. So that is what, uh, which, which is my topic. So in this case, we can mention the API calls. We can just uh, get the API calls and just we can assert those API calls with their response status. So once this API call is resolved or, uh, or found with uh, using this wait command in Cypress, then you can click on those that login button so that it will be present. So, I'll be showing the scripts. Uh, so this is this is a demo site. So I want to test. I want to launch this demo site initially. Then later, I want to just uh, uh, check whether this whole page is launched. And later, I want to click on this laptops button so that it will display all the laptops in this page. So let's handle this. Initially, I have uh, written the commands. So initially, what's, what I'm mentioning is, uh, Cypress just visit this uh, demo.place site. So later, then just click on the laptops button. So this is what my, is my uh, current commands. So let's see what Cypress does. So this is my script. So Cypress is just launching the uh, page and it's uh, launched the page and it's uh, directly clicking on the laptops button. So when you observe this thing, the page is not fully loaded, but 
the cypress has found this laptop buttons and it just clicked uh, the laptop button so here we are not unable to uh, verify if the page is launched or not so in this case the wait command can be used let's see like okay uh, your cypress just wait until maybe two seconds so that page can be launched for you. Let's see what happens. So Cypress visited the website and it waited for a particular amount of time. So in this case, let's see, the page is fully launched. Oh, so yeah, so page is fully launched. So in this case, what we can do to, uh, we can avoid these hard-coded values, uh, hard-coded weights. So let's see, uh, uh, as you can see in this is, uh, API slash entries, the API is fetching the entries or the number of uh, categories that are present in this launch page. And it's showing us the requests and the responses. See, there are there is uh, Cypress is also showing us when we hover over slash entries, it's showing the number of what is, what is the before action, what is the after action after this uh, while uh, during this api is executed so let's take this slash entries uh, api and let's ask cypress to wait until this slash entries is fully uh, get its responses from the api server so in this case what i'm doing is i'm just asking cypress to get the go to the server and get the apis with the root of slash entries. So I'm loading the slash entries dot get API fully under uh, load products aliases. This is the aliases which we are mentioning previously. Then later go to this website and just wait until this uh, complete API is found and its status is returning 200. That is uh, a success status in API uh, uh, terminology. So once this API is fully uh, found in your scripts, then later click on the laptops button. So let's see what Cypress does. So this is my second script using dynamic weights. So Cypress is uh, currently visiting this website and it's it just waited until the load products is found. So once it's found, then it's asserted that its status is equal to 200. So once it's 200, later it's clicking on the laptops button. So this way we can handle the dynamic weights. So avoiding the um, the C, uh, um, avoiding the hard coded time mode values or the weights. And um, in this way we can mention uh, the dynamic weights so that uh, it can be handled uh, from our side too. So thanks for being with me.